currently there are a lot of data available in the system, so we want to make sure what is appropriate data for what purposes. That's a challenging task. And also, when we collect the data, we want to make sure that we collect appropriate data for the next accreditation visit, because we don't want to come back and then collect the data for the analysis. So that's one of the challenges as well. And uh, when it comes to analyzing the data, for CAPE accreditation, we want to make sure what are the benchmarks, what are the national state level uh, benchmarks for uh, comparing our data. So that data sometimes could not be available at the time that we are presenting. That could be a challenge. And also some programs have a low number of students, so presenting that data as our story could be challenging too. Definitions are really important. When you do a data analysis, you want to make sure that you provide what's the population that you are analyzing and what are the programs that are involved in this report and then make sure, give them all the details, what data that I collected and how did I analyze and what's the population, what's the time frame and what are the informed decisions that could be made out of that data. And also, I like to provide space for the faculty to ask questions if they have anything for uh, clarification purposes so that they ca I can answer any question. So providing definitions is very helpful for the faculty so that they know the boundary. I mean, you can do a study and you can use a population, but if you do not give the proper definitions, it's hard to come up with the decisions that you make. We have a good, uh, we have a good set of systems in place. We have um, a back-end data warehouse, and we use Tableau as a software tool, so we can, I can create all sorts of reports, good visual analytics we currently have, and uh, most of the systems are currently communicating with each other very nicely, so it's easy for me to pull student data, uh, connect the dots, and then analyze the data, and then present it in a way that is meaningful. So we have the in infrastructure available for that. And I bring expertise uh, in terms of programming and information systems, and I'm very comfortable in analyzing the data. I can see the big picture uh, as well as I can use those systems that are currently in place. I think the key element for organizing data is to have a data management guideline if, for example, if I collect student evaluation data for the student teachers, when I collect the data, I want to have definitions for each and every field that I use in my data file. And I would like to document all the processes that I go through. For example, you enter the data on this date, you validate the data on this date, or this is my data cleaning protocol, so on and so forth. So that gives a big picture for me to know that this is what I'm doing and this is when I should be doing this. So currently I'm working on that, so it's very helpful. I mean, we are looking at our processes and systems for improvements, and it is a collective process by all the stakeholders in our EPP and it is a continuous process. It also means that um, we have a quality, uh, I mean, good quality assurance system in place. And uh, when data provides evidence that our programs meet CAPE standards, we can be positive that we are making uh, candidates who are ready to teach P12 students and that in turn will make a positive impact on those students as well.